one. Hey, all you Davison Middle School Science students, it's Mrs. Kashara back again with another investigation. This one is titled Race to Cool. Our task with this particular one is to use materials to maximize the temperature difference in a psychrometer. Now remember with the psychrometer you have a wet bulb end and a dry bulb. And we're going to look to see which one will have the biggest temperature difference um, and um, to see what particular variable will do that. Now with this kind of experiment there's all kinds of things that we could do. For instance maybe we decide to use the same exact material but maybe we use three different liquids. We could use water, we could use isopropyl alcohol, or even orange juice for that matter. Would those three different liquids um, have a difference on a psychrometer? I'm choosing instead to use three different materials. So I'm going to be using our psychrometers. The materials I'm going to be using are a school paper towel. Um, I have this uh, polyester fiber fill and a cotton ball. And so those are going to be my materials. I'm just going to use water. That's going to be my constant. I'm going to have a rubber band to try to hold the material on the wet bulb side of the psychrometer. And then we're just going to spin the psychrometer for three minutes and check out the temperature. Now we'll have to take the initial temperature um, of the dry bulb and the wet bulb and then we'll take it after three minutes. So we'll do three different designs with three different materials. Uh, but like I said, you could try this with many, many different variables. Um, but all in all, that is uh, your task. And so since you don't have the materials at home, you're going to have to follow what I'm going to do. So let's start with the paper towel from school. I'm going to get this wet. And I'm going to stick this on the wet bulb. I'm going to put a rubber band around it to hold it. As it's spinning, it can fling off. Trust me, I've done this before. And initial temperature. Initial temperature on the dry bulb is 21, 22, 23 degrees Celsius. On the wet bulb right now is 21, 22, 23 degrees Celsius. So let's start our timer at three minutes. And woo! water all over the place. Oh my goodness. You obviously know that I didn't test this beforehand. <laughs> and this would be a lot of fun in class, wouldn't it? Oh boy. So three minutes. We're going to see how much of a temperature difference the wet bulb has to the dry bulb. Oh, this will be fun. Am I getting my videographer? <laughs> I think I am. Yay! You do want to be very, very careful not to get your face too close to the psychrometer as you're flinging the thermometers around. If you don't know, psychrometers are used in weather and they are used to measure the humidity of the air. And depending on how much humid moisture you have in the air will depend on how quick the wet bulb will evaporate and drop the temperature. And technically that's what we're doing. But we're going to try it with different materials. And again, this one is the school paper towel. It's not going to be fun doing this for three minutes straight. I wish I had a group. Here's my initial temperature, 24 degrees Celsius. Maybe 23. 
I'd be curious if doing this experiment on a different day, today is a rainy day here at the Kashara household, and whether or not this would be different on, say, a cold winter day. Of course, depending on how much AC is in the air as well. All right, well, let's stop right there. The dry bulb is 21, 22 degrees Celsius, and the wet bulb is at 19 degrees Celsius. So that's our psychrometer and our design one. What was that? 20 two degrees Celsius. All right, so let's do design two. I'm gonna take a psychrometer and this time we're going to use the uh, polyester cotton fill, or it's not cotton fill, but a polyester fill, something you would use in pillows or uh, quilts. And we're gonna wet that. I wonder how much that's gonna fling water all over the table we'll find out and that's what makes science fun right put that on that bulb take a rubber band make sure that that's on there tight enough so that doesn't fling off all right let's see our initial temperature is at a 21 22 23 degrees celsius and a 23 degrees Celsius. So on our mark, get set, fling <laughs> the psychrometer. Yes, this one is flinging the droplets of water as well all over the place, but that's what makes it fun. <laughs> I'm gonna have water spots on my glasses. <laughs> by the time this experiment is over, and I'm gonna to have to clean them. I will say, be thinking about some different errors in between each of the designs. Think about our constants. Using a psychrometer is our constant. Using water is a constant. Flinging the psychrometer, I'd like to say it's at a constant speed, but I think by third design, might start to get tired. So I wonder how we could keep that at a better constant. Always something to think about with experiments. There's always potential errors. You could always be fixing those experiments as you're going and doing those experiments. That's why it's important to test and test and retest. Need background music for this. How many more seconds we got? All right, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
two, one, let's check. All right. Dry bulb is at a whopping 21, 22 degrees Celsius. Wet bulb, 20 degrees Celsius. So design two. Twenty-two. And do you believe that started at a twenty-three initial? All right, our final design with this one is we are going to use another a psychrometer, but we're going to use cotton. So let's wet that cotton. Let's put this on the wet bulb side. Wrap it with a rubber band. Oh, that's not gonna stay. Let's do another rubber band. Oh, don't break the psychrometer, Mrs. Kashara. All right, dry bulb is at 23 degrees Celsius. Wet bulb is at 23 degrees Celsius. Let's start the psychrometer and go. Another three, three minutes. <laughs> and yes, water is flinging all over the place. I'm getting the videographer. It's a good thing I have my glasses on. Ooh. Race to cool. Oh. <laughs> this is getting me in the face. I don't know if you can tell, but it is. Think about what other things could we do besides different liquids. We did different materials. Hmm. Could you do different speeds? Different amounts of time? Oh, all kinds of different things we could do with our experiment. Race to cool. Although I think with our time, we all kept this a consistent at three minutes. That's a constant for this design. My arm's getting tired, yes. You're lucky you're not having to do this at home. Or with the help of your partners in class, this would be very fun. All right, we're getting to the final minute here. I don't want to let go of this, I almost let go. That would be an error that my videographer would not care for. Just went flying through the air and hitting them. Twenty more seconds. Whew. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and time's up. <sighs> Dry bulb is 22 degrees. Wet bulb is 10, 11, 12, 10, 11, 12, 13. Is that right? 13 degrees? No. 
14, 16 degrees. Making sure you can see that, 16 degrees. All right, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you talk about which design is most effective and why, and answer the following questions on the race to cool. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.